a good morning. I'm in a strange place really. I'm in Kings Lynn, which really is somewhere we don't go a lot to, but it is the nearest dealership for the car being serviced. So um, every sort of uh, once in a while I have to come down here and, and get the car serviced. The place itself, Kings Lynn, its ferry is a little bit tired with echoes of its past. It's clearly been an important port uh, in the past. And it's still a port today, but you can see that there's been there's some tied elements of it. But it has got some redeeming factors. A couple of its buildings are just outstanding. Now there is a number of listed buildings in Kingsley, but the one that I think is the most impressive is the Customs House. Um, it's been here back from the heyday of this town as a port. It's a 17th century Customs House. It was built by Sir John Turner in 1683 and was designed by the architect Henry Bell. That's the fun facts. Um, it's a merchant's exchange was, the, was its purpose originally. It was a place to regulate trade that was coming through the port. It still stands quite proud today and it's quite nicely surrounded by um, artefacts which I'll show you in the video and um, when the sun's shining it takes away all the other tired corners of King's Lynn so it's not a bad place to be. It's been a proud place in the past but it needs some investment now. So this is the Great Ooze. And you can see the tides out at the moment. You can see from the listing on that ship or boat ahead. And just beyond that on the left, quite you can see it is the, Lee, the West Lynn Ferry. And there's still a ferry service going over there. And uh, it links uh, both sides of the banks. It probably still is the way, the quickest way to get on foot, certainly. Um, and there's quite a few people waiting at the ferry queue uh, with shopping bags and things jumping on the ferry to get over to the other side so it's still obviously quite an important local service.
this quite honestly that'll do for me it's not a bad way to spend the morning the sun's shining now with a lot of places in uh, east anglia flood risk is a problem and this is the great ooze that flows in here and so you can see here that the streets have floodgates ready to be deployed as you can walk down this cobble street you can see the quality of some of the buildings quite close in and get a feel for how long they've been here particularly on this left hand side and then as we walk down we get a, a bit of a expose of a really quite special building This is the town hall. Which again really defies the rest of the town. Well, this is quite a nice square. Probably the nicest square in, uh, in the place. And that's the cathedral. Minster. This is Nelson Street. Interesting only because I think there's a Nelson Street in every um, town in Norfolk. It was after all Nelson's County and the place of his birth and where he learned to sail. You can get a feel for the the old town walking up here and this is the, the plaque here this was used to be benedict priory and St margaret's priory between circa 1115-38 a small benedictine priory stood here it was part of the norwich cathedral community this takes you now to the back in some private buildings I think so not film too much there and of course back onto the cathedral well that's a bit really I'm not going to film the rest of Kings Lane because like I say it's um, I don't want to be disrespectful but it is a bit tired and uh, I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody in this community it's just really about showing you the the bits that are particularly interesting and uh, I'm gonna make my way back now because they told me my car's ready um, yeah, usual, -ish, usual sort of uh, speed service from them to be fair this deal is very good and it is worth coming across to them but uh, that'll do me now hopefully for another couple of years and uh, we'll go and see what they've got for us well that's it the car's collected be at least another 12 months now before back in Kings Lynn I think but it's an interesting morning when the sun's shining it makes it better hope you've enjoyed it all the best Martin out